What's up guys? Crown Garage back with another video. And today's video, we're gonna be working on this, um, the Precision 6262 for uh, the town. Um, so I bought that manifold, made that video all that time ago. And it's winter time here in Ohio, where I'm from, where I live. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be driving the car anymore, so I figured, you know, send it, just start taking the old manifold and turbo out of this thing. Really shouldn't be all that bad. Uh, then I got more parts to sell and get, get a little bit of money for. Uh, since the turbo came with the car, I mean, uh, I was actually debating getting rid of it and getting something a little smaller, but I just decided to send it put the big one on there and you know run it low boost for a while and hopefully we can hit the goal that I'm looking for about 4 450 uh, which is easily doable with this turbo uh, especially on E85 which is also the goal uh, I might not end up running E just because this turbo is gonna make so much power regardless um, but at the same time uh, E85 runs a lot cooler keeps intake temperatures down and you know which isn't a, a huge deal for something at this power level but um i don't know we'll see uh pump gas 93 it's a lot safer and easier to tune uh from what i hear so I might just keep it on that but it is cheaper and makes more power so we'll see what happens but let's get into this uh i'll show you where i'm at right now all right so uh, as you can see the old manifold is off. Um, she's over there. Be gone. We don't need that. We got this. So uh, as you can see, I got the wastegate off and put on this one. It's going to have to run something like that because I wanted it to be more like this. But these lines are like directly in the way of this and that's about where that's gonna probably have to sit but this isn't bad like about there because these face up and should be able to obviously we're not gonna be using this one that I made but uh, probably you know can make something work out of this honestly probably just gonna cut this shorter and just put a little bit of an angle on it um, however it needs to be it's not gonna need to be very long like it is now anymore because the flange on that one came out right at the top so the wastegate sat up there and it needed all this length to actually be in a good spot so um, yeah on that note um, I've never actually had the turbo out of this before, but I think it does, yeah, it does still have coolant lines ran to it, so I'm gonna have to block those off, or delete those, whatever, um, and then just run oil lines. Um, I think it has upgraded feed and return. I mean, you can tell that one's uh, upgraded, it looks like. The feed, but the return also is bigger, so. Probably upgrade uh, both of those, um, maybe even more, just because this turbo is so much bigger. Um, and yeah, so a lot of things are going to be changing in here because of how much room this is going to take up now. But I guess we'll see all that once this turbo is out of here. So I'm going to keep working on that. So I just started, uh, you know, going to pull this oil feed line off and I started looking that exhaust leak that I was chasing all that time placing my wastegate and stuff look at these cracks in this gasket that is probably what the leak was most likely the entire time is this gasket being so old that it cracked I mean it's literally cracked here 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 I mean all around you can see little cracks so that's probably what that leak was that i could never find because i never really paid attention like i did 
today. Because I have obviously had that off before to put those studs in to weld that flange on. But, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Um, still digging into it. After a good, good long battle. I got this thing out of here. Uh, there was no way I was gonna film this, guys, because I'm working on the ground. It, it wouldn't have been very good quality anyway, but uh, really what sucks is that uh, drain. I mean, it's just, it was just grueling <laughs> to get that thing out of there because it it's so seized on the fitting that's on the bottom of the turbo. I couldn't get it off my hand wrench. Um, I tried to get the bolts out, the two tens on the bottom of the turbo, and I couldn't get the one loose and I couldn't get a wrench on it, so I had to drain the oil and loosen both of those with a wrench because I also can't get a 10 on there because the fitting is too big around to get a socket, at least a 3H drive. I didn't bring all my tools home. I didn't bring my quarter inch drive set because I wasn't planning on doing this when I first brought my tools home. I brought it home for another project, but so, um, you know, whatever. I mean, I got it out. Um, next is gonna be moving that intercooler pipe, getting that down pipe completely out and uh, getting that rad hose out of there and then trying to just get that in there mocked up I don't I don't know how well this is gonna go um, I have a feeling for sure the fans are gonna have to be moved to the front side and they're gonna have to be made into um, pull instead of push I think I don't know it's late and that was stressful um, but yeah, so the fans are probably going to have to come to this side. I have a new rad for it anyway. Um, I think I posted something about it. I don't remember. But yeah, because this one's cracked and is leaking. Or was when it ran. But uh, yeah, so I got a few things that I got to you know, take into account. But uh, yeah, so that is uh, part one of the big turbo install. Um, Main thing, main things are gonna be intercooler piping, trying to figure out how we're gonna do that. And then the adapter from the three inch V band to the two bolt uh, STM downpipe that I bought. So I'm probably gonna. this video off here um, I'm really tired after messing with this thing for so long um, probably shouldn't have taken as long as it did but the turbo has been on this car for probably 20 years it's, it's an old 20g unit so that was just a process and I have to clean up so yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed this video Garage out. <laughs>